I've been wanting to do a video on SPQR and the Great Battles of History <coughs> system for quite a while. And um, I just finished playing one of, one of my first games, uh, Opposed. And it was interesting, which is what, what I'm going to focus on probably uh, for the most of the video. Uh, it was interesting the number of rules lookups that we had to conduct. I have played, and so to put this in context for you, uh, first of all, I love the game and uh, very happy with it. But uh, <clears throat> having played a lot of simple great battles of history and more recently over the last four or five years, the full great battles of history rules, uh, I was really surprised at the number of rules lookups, pauses, miscommunications, misunderstandings of the rules that occurred in a game that is ostensibly, uh, you know, been around for decades and the rules should be crystal clear and complete. And so it's, it's really interesting that uh, this system has been as popular as it has been, yet the rules still struggle to impart in the main, sorry, in some areas, exactly what's supposed to happen <clears throat> and part of that I think is that each module has its own unique flavor and specific things that need to happen in a, in a specific way or maybe slightly different from one module to the next so uh, <clears throat> You know how reaction works in some is in some modules is different than how it works in others and how command obviously works is very different from from error to error and all those things are fine i'm not really complaining about that but i think that's what in part compounds some of the challenges so one of the things that i knew rock solid knew <laughs> was that when your leader is in range and you activate do a line command or activate some do individual commands with the with the full system uh, your units that are in zones of control have to continue fighting now somehow between myself and my gameplay partner we manage to gloss over misunderstand miss that or not not grok it correctly as we were focusing in on you know there was a gap here right uh, not focusing in on uh, that specific about the, the rules and, and how it, it plays out. Because obviously what you want to do is once these guys get engaged, you want to, it, the, the battle needs to evolve. It's not like these dudes are standing here pushing against each other for the equivalent of four turns. In actual fact, what's probably going to happen is pretty quickly one side is going to give or the other will give. <clears throat> and so, you know, with these double depth... Uh, uh, phalanxes we we had a pretty nice little run at things forced several uh, cohorts to retreat or rout and then these guys just sat here and I didn't want to attack because you know if I attack then I've got to advance into these guys and then we got to go and start over again and then these fellows will uh, use up their 14 uh, points they have and become brittle and rout so I wanted to withhold, and for some reason, I didn't grok or remember that we needed to do this. So that, there were some cavalry things we did wrong, there were some elephant things we did wrong, there were uh, 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 die rolls of doom that we forgot to take account of. And, it, and all of that's okay, it, because the game was still fun and we still enjoyed it all. But every time we went to find something in this rule book, it really took it took a lot of work. Uh, two of us flipping through rules, trying to work our way through this index, which is really not particularly comprehensive, although it may look it, it's not. Um, and I really struggled with it. And this is the latest edition. I had not actually cracked the shrink on this yet. This is my other copy my older copy but I couldn't find the charts so we had to pull the I had to pull the shrink off my my, my new version and it 
I was expecting this to be, I guess, cleaner and crisper for some reason, but it really wasn't. And it was, uh, it was really kind of disappointing. But that said, Sinocephale, uh, uh, I think it is, or uh, Cephale, whatever it is, uh, a great and interesting battle. There's lots of uh, discussion online about this particular battle and what actually happened uh, and what could have happened. Uh, you know, none of the Romans set up as uh, as you know double double stacked uh, cohorts and whatnot. So that puts them at a big disadvantage. And based on the way the rules read, if you enter the map or are on the map not stacked up, you can't. And we didn't find anywhere where it said you could stack. Uh, so that was a big disadvantage for for the for the Romans. But uh, the point about the battle is that you know, this heavy cavalry cleaned up this whole section of the map <clears throat> and was getting ready to start having at these, uh, these depleted units then and then probably try and come in this way. But we lost out. We lost a leader here right off the bat. So I, I'm stuck with a replacement 3-3 leader. Um, command was a big problem for the Macedonian army. Uh, Philip V is cool and all, but not that cool. So it's an interesting battle fought on difficult terrain for the phalanx and difficult terrain for the, for the Romans attacking uphill. Basically, I let them come to me. Um, the final, once we realized we kind of screwed this up because this really all should have just been done, right? That all should have just been finished. Uh, and then there should have been something else going on here, uh, whatever whatever was left over, we should have been fighting. Uh, but we did end up at uh, Romans with 66 route points and the uh, Macedonians with 25. Um, I, I, I don't see, with, with the elephants on the wrong side of the map and the heavy cavalry on this side of the map with nothing really opposing them. I don't see how the Romans do well in this game unless they can stack their little cohorts and, and, and go head to head and bleed out this uh, set of double phalanxes. Uh, otherwise, otherwise, they're really just in, in dire straits. <clears throat> so everything else is pretty fragile for, for the Macedonians, generally speaking. Uh, he was starting to whittle away my my left flank here and you know, plinking away at these uh, little javelin light light units, bring up his heavies and then he could follow through and, and take care of these guys so pretty easily. I think legion on legion against these phalanxes, he'll, he'll probably win most of those battles just because he's gonna get a size advantage on me if he can put three, three of these guys against one of these. Uh, unless I can get these into double depth mode, which I can only do with the overall commander so had a lot of fun but we were both just taken aback by how how much we struggled finding things in the rule book it's not a complicated game we got uh three three turns done today two and a half turns maybe i don't know maybe three turns done today uh in uh three three hours hour a turn so it cranked along pretty nicely i was uh, uh really happy with the progress but Overall, just a, a disappointment there. The new scenario book, though, is is really well laid out. This is done uh, extraordinarily well. The charts and tables are significant improvements uh, on the on the old mud, muddy looking gray nasty things from the prior edition. I'm not missing them at all. Although I do need to find them because I, I think I'm going to sell. This copy, I, I think this has one and a half sets of maps in it, and uh, some other extra bits and pieces that probably need to need to be sort of filtered out. And then I might just uh, give it away to somebody or something like that. We'll do it online on the on the blog or something, uh, if I can find the charts. Uh, if not, maybe we'll just do it. Uh, like I said, give it away, and you can, and I'll take a scan of the charts for you. But anyway, I just want to share that with you. Just a it was a long day of playing and once we realized we made that kind of significant mistake we thought well it's probably a good place to stop because uh, we definitely want to play again which we will probably do on vassal uh did notice that the vassal modules are extremely dated uh they could use a little bit of love but that's uh 
certainly just fan-made stuff that needs to happen. So community uh, seems to be a little quiet. I'm hoping that uh, by posting this video, we'll get a little bit of commentary going and maybe get a few guys to pull out this game or girls to pull out this game uh, and uh, try it. Try the try SPQR. Try the uh, try this particular particular scenario because it is uh, a seminal battle between uh, the phalanx formation and the and the, the legionary formations. Although you're not getting the checkerboard effect uh, in this particular instance. But uh, nevertheless, it's well worth exploring, and I think you can find some alternate setups that are available that are, are floating around, uh, or perhaps even make your own up based on uh, your own historical research. All right, kind of a long waffle. Thanks for checking in. Talk to you soon.